guys, another review. Uh, today we're going to do an open box review, whatever you want to call it, on the Big Agnes. It's the Q-Core Deluxe. It's an insulated sleeping pad. It says on the box it's a three season pad. Uh, I got this a few days ago and I ordered it in the 25 by 72, which is the wider version, but it's not the long. It's the regular length. Uh, it's showing here that it comes in two to five different sizes up to 25 by 78 So that'd be the wide long and the 20 by 66, which is the regular width uh, and the narrow So it's uh, the box here says that the 25 by 72 comes in at about 30 ounces So it is a little slightly heavier than some of the other pads But it's saying that it's four to four and a half inches thick so we're going to test that here, but as you can see it here, it comes in this nice bag, just open the box, then there's a Nalgene bottle, so for comparison, and you know it's bigger than a Nalgene bottle, but pretty nice bag it comes in, it also comes in with some extra patches, there's two different types of fabric apparently on the pad itself, so there's some patches for each part, so that's nice, always throw this in your possible pouch if you need it, but we're going to go ahead and open this up here and uh, see how it looks. Nice drawstring on the top. Nice bag. Bright blue. I want to check out the valve on here. According to this, it's high volume valve, efficient, easy insulation, and super fast deflation. Yeah, they all say that. Of course, I've heard blue a few times trying to blow one of these up. But there's the valve here. So we're going to open this up, see how this works. Open it up all the way. It uh, feels like a pretty durable fabric. Uh, lightweight, but durable. So we're going to open this up and uh, blow it up and see how it goes. My wife is already in Idaho, so don't tell her I'm using the dining room table as my office. So I'm a pretty, pretty big person. So we're going to see here, there's an in and an out valve. We're just going to see how many breaths it takes. I'm going to do as big breaths as I can just to get an idea. So here we go. All right, guys, finally got this blown up. Uh, I have to say, it does take a lot of breath. So I was at like 25, 26 big, heavy breaths. So I know there's some pads out there that uh, blow up a lot quicker. Some of them, I have one actually, it's a thinner pad, but it's kind of a self-inflate. This is not, uh, but it's big. It looks like it's going to be very comfortable. So uh, it does have the stitching down the center. I can feel like the channels in it. So top side here is a... Uh, more of a fabric-y, like a, a softer, I don't know how to explain it, and the bottom side's more of a vinyl, even though it is uh, this kind of plastic, I don't know the technical stuff. Uh, it isn't that loud, so I know uh, I've seen sleeping pads before where you can't move on it, and it's, it's really noisy. But, the outside seem to be a little bit thicker than the inside, so it is as long as the table here, so I'm going to readjust the camera, and we're going to take some measurements on this thing and see... Uh, you know, make sure it is what it th they say it is. Alright guys, uh, what we're going to do now is, I'm going to just take the level here. Now, it's got some weight to it, so it kind of sinks in the pad a little bit here. So I'm going to try to get an accurate measurement. I guess I could just leave it like that. It is pushing in a little. And we've got three and an eighth. So if I were able to hold this up with the possible fabric, just about four inches so uh, it says it's four inches thick and it is about four inches thick but once again once you you know get on that obviously you push it down in so it says it's a 25 by 72 so we're gonna do this here that's 25 on the money Two, 72 and a half so it is what it says it is so this looks like it's going to be a 
comfortable pad. It is thick. Uh, you know, it does uh, it takes a little while to blow up. But uh, yeah, it's not very heavy. It packs on rather nicely, and I think it's worth the little bit of weight for the comfort, in my opinion. So I know if I don't sleep well the next day, I'm going to be a little bit more miserable than I normally am. So it takes a while to blow up. It's a little bit heavier, but it should be super comfortable. Anyway, so now what we're going to do is pop the valve and see how hard it is to deflate. So check it out. <coughs> so two valves on here. One says in, one says out. The small one is the out. So we're going to pull that. And it's just an open hole. So the one-way valve is actually very nice. The in. Alright, that's blowing out real nice. So we are going to take this. Flip it over. Fold it in half. Fold it once it's done. So there's really no resistance in the air. So the valve works good. I've used some before that you have to really push and push. Well, I got my back to the camera if you can see this. Actually pulled it. Yeah, air's coming right out. So there we go. So air's all out of it. Now I can take it and just re roll it up the right way. But once again, the Big Agnes Q Core Deluxe. 25 by 72. You can get it at blackovis.com. So check it out, guys. Thanks. Hey, guys. I'm Lou Rosito with Getting Lost. I just wanted to take a second and say thank you very much for taking the time to watch my um, not so great video. I'm working on it, I promise. I, I hope to continue to make uh, the quality of the video a little better and come up with some cool t content and keep uh, pumping out videos, uh, hopefully, at least twice a week. Uh, it's been a little rough right now because I am still living in Pittsburgh. Uh, the house is in shambles. We got everything, you know, almost packed up and ready to go. Hopefully, I'll be out there by late summer. Uh, but anyway, please take a second and subscribe to my YouTube page, uh, Getting Lost. Also, check me out on Instagram and Facebook. Both of those are still Getting Lost. And uh, my website, uh, GetLost.com. I have a bunch of cool content. Uh, all the reviews, all the videos are going to be on there. And... Uh, if you have any questions, uh, any recommendations, uh, please contact me, Lou at gettinglost.com. Thanks very much.